found something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Heralds. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates & Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constant's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. Because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Ready, Pam? Three, two, one, and... For more than two decades, New York based law firm... Argentina must be over the moon about Tom stepping down. He's been living alone here for, what, six years? Ever since the scandal. Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates, senor. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, senor. Enjoy the party. Yeah, hey, bro. Tamara Vidal, like I'm here for the tour. Ah, yes, Miss Vidal. My apologies, I didn't recognize you. Let me sign you in. 
Orvo, got a message from the boss. Duty calls. Let me guess, the Burnwood woman. That's right. Gates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. Wants you to tag along. Not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist. Wonder what the deal is. Yates' business is his business. You just get yourself ready and sign into the visitor center. Oh, have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. It makes me sentimental. A private tour of the estate. Diana, Vidal, and this fixer, Corvo Black. Black is a threat, but also an opportunity. Yates's own machinations are inconsequential. Joining the tour will give access to Vidal, away from the crowd. Mr. Yates. Yeah, I've got you. You aren't telling me what I'm. Start letting not even been appointed to. Caution and modesty okay. has never been done yet. So who's this fool guy? Did you see the wine list? Same. I'm more of a fear man myself. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, no, no problem. I just never framed an urban legend before. Very post-truth. Yeah. I like it. Plus, he has good reason to be confident. He is Edward's closest legal advisor. Not even Thomas Cross or Eugene Cobb had a direct line of contact. I think Yates is at the top of a very short list. So, how do you feel about her? How do you think? She yeah, and her friends killed the Yamazaka. Cassidy probably brought this. How did she do it? And welcome to the Yates Winery. How may I help you? Corvo Black. I'm on the tour. Right. Mr. Black. Welcome. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy the tour. Over here. You two must be Burnwood and Vidal. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's a ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. 
Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. That's a boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. Counterintuitive as that may be. That was a bit rude. Yes. Yes, it was. Johannesburg calls. And from that... I grew up here. These majestic trains were my playground, and returning here to pick up the mantle of my ancestors in the flesh. What? What is it now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them grandchildren. Remember? As if I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates' socialite friends. It's only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. You don't want to get on his bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided if the cop is right for picking. Bring me the three Malbec grapes to taste, Ramon. If Yates doesn't like how I prioritize, he can weigh me down with concrete and toss me off a bridge. How's that? Uh, three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife. Oh, yeah. Come on. I left it right... Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, good. Bring them here. Now, let's see. Imagínate una barrera invisible entre tú y yo que se extiende 
de tus manos, de tus brazos hacia mí. Tratemos eso y estemos fuera de esa zona. Es mi espacio personal. ¿Entiendes? Now, let's see. A lovely inky black color. Good size. Large and firm. See, it's brown. Excellent. And finally, Sweet, flavorful, robust, and it's thorough now. Marvelous. Why, I say these grapes are ripe for harvest. And for the workers, will you, Ramon? I have a third to conduct. Will do. Ah, my fellow wine lover. Hello. Yeah. Welcome to Viñeda Yates. I do apologize for the delay, but the Malbec grape is a demanding mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, chief wine maker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I, uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. In fact, we're just about to harvest this year's crop. Great expectations. So how do you like no Argentina? Like everywhere else. Full of Americans. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. We insist on steaming every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state-of-the-art, including an industrial-sized freezer unit, and last but not least, a trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. Are you a wine man, Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack of all trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes through its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser for the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? How about you, Mr. Black? You look like you have something on your mind. I have a question. It's... perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. I'm interested in these containers. Ah, yes. Our large fermentation tanks are constructed from solid French oak and each container 500 gallons of grey mass. Interesting. Are those cooling sockets? They are indeed, senor. The cooling system allows us to fine-tune the entire process. Temperature, humidity levels, etc. Our goal here at Vignera Yates is quite simple. 
From the state of the art winemaking facility to our carefully nurtured grape stock, hand picked with loving care by local experts, we have only one purpose to make the best vinos in Argentina and beyond. Well, looks like an accident waiting to happen. Occupational hazard. Neighborhood? Hey, Urgent call. Something about work. I don't think she'll be coming back. Oh well. I'm sure she can find her way out. Let's proceed. Excelente. So let's continue to the barrel room. If you'll follow me. So, are you associates of Mr. Yates? You might say we run in the same circles. Law and order. Must be very exciting. It's about 99% preparation. And so we arrive to our final stop, the barrel room. This is where we store the wine during the secondary stage of fermentation. The area behind the glass is where we keep our most precious bottles, including a 1945 Grand Paladin, the most expensive wine in existence. The access doors, which are made from ballistic glass, can only be unlocked the security room high above our heads. Remarkable. Ah, here comes Senor Yates now. I shall leave you in his capable hands. How reassuring. Ah, Miss Burnwood, is it not? Don Yates, pleased to meet you. You come very highly recommended. As chief of the Heralds, let me be the first to say welcome aboard. Why, thank you, Mr. Yates. Rest assured that I will be following your every lead. Very closely. <laughs> 